All right, I just did a, a little bit more research on this, and um, it turns out the multi-point socket insert T480 is the actual name of the bit according to the DVD-ROM manual, and um, it's fairly similar to this set which was sold as a poly drive, uh, but in, in fact on this one uh, the spacing between the edges of the bit and the recesses of the bit are even, so you've got evenly spaced uh, points on this one. Whereas with the multi-point bit as specified, uh, the recessed uh, parts of the bit are actually larger than the, or wider than the uh, protruding parts of the bit. So um, this uh, this doesn't fit uh, the multi-point bit, which is what MP should stand for. Uh, MP10 is the one. Given the choice, however, between the two, the the uh, the T55 Torx uh, would actually work better than than this set because even though you'd have to hammer it in, uh, the reason you have to hammer it in is because the the width is actually slightly more, and so these points are kind of sharp, and um, they would hammer in. Uh, easier uh, than what those would. Uh, that is just not going to work. Um, this uh, T55 would work, but it's still not the right bit. You know. Whatever this emblem is, uh, is totally misleading because uh, you see how the recesses are larger than the points. Um, Whereas, actually, these these bits uh, with these bits, that's not the case at all. Um, that they're evenly spaced. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, it looks like a nice set. So, I went. I ordered the proper Volkswagen um, bit, the socket insert bit. Uh, this one is actually the actual uh, Volkswagen one, a couple bucks more, but it's a high torque thing, so um, it's really the way to go. The uh, multi-point set is also called uh, uh, polydrive or ribe um, type of socket insert uh, or bit, and so um, that's that's not the right one. Um, the right one um, is the T four hundred, the T four hundred eighty, specialty tool. To tighten the camshaft adjuster bolt, um, the camshaft adjuster uh, onto the camshaft, and um, <coughs> the problem being is that though the uh, the Spentley DVD wrong manual calls it a multi-point, actually uh, the multi-point MP10 does not, in fact, um, fit. The bolt. Um, so this this does not fit. Uh, it caused damage trying to insert it. The proper bit is a specialty tool. It's a, a multi-point. It's called a multi-point, but it's not actually a multi-point. Uh, it's a T four hundred eighty specialty uh, socket insert bit which does uh, fit the bolt. Um, so the problem being here is that uh, the uh, the points are tooled to be narrow, um, narrower than what the actual grooves in the bolt uh, turn out to be. So um, it does uh, wiggle a little bit back and forth. There's a slight amount of play there. I suppose the idea is that um, if you over torque it, it's, uh, it's going to strip the socket before it strips the bolt. That may be why it's done that way. Alright, I'm set for removal. Um, 
have my homemade tool, uh, clevis hook here, a uh, couple of bungees to either side to stabilize. Um, my support post, um, this goes into the, the stanchions on the tooth belt sprocket and um, there's a couple of bolts there. Um, so you don't have to take the valve cover off, in fact. Um, so, now, the real trick is over here. You've got a breaker bar, half inch breaker, going into your T480 socket. And um, you got a six inch three jaw gear puller locking the breaker bar to the camshaft adjuster bolt. It's 110 foot-pounds because I put it on once before. And there it goes. Just like that. Okay, so uh, one other thing here is uh, I made contact on the spring. Now that's actually a loose part, the spring and the, the uh, impact shaft. That will pop out. You just want to be careful that you know you don't whack that and have that come springing out on you. The actual camshaft adjuster, this pin, uh, that's actually a loose component that will come out. Um, ordinarily it's not going to, but um, it, it may fall out. So you know, be careful not to lose that. We've got a, a fairly substantially stripped uh, camshaft adjuster bolt. Um, so that's what the the gear puller method will uh, help to eliminate. Uh, if you use that, you're not going to get as much of a problem on this, um, especially if you use the, the proper bit.